Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the problem Santa and chocolates on courtship. So the problem states that this Christmas Santa has a list of n children for gift distribution. Initially he decides to gift AI chocolates to the IH child. However, children are not happy with this distribution. He then decides to redistribute the chocolates in such a way that each child has at least one chocolate. The difference of chocolates between any pair of children is not more than k. So we need to find whether such distribution is possible or not. So our input format is the number of test cases. Then next line we have n and k which are number of children and maximum number of chocolates between any two children. And next line contains n separated integers a1 to an denoting the initial distribution of chocolates. So we need to output yes if chef can redistribute chocolates in the mentioned above manner otherwise we would output no. So let's see how we can do this. First of all let's understand the intuition behind it. So what we have here we have first 70142 and k is 2. When are k is 2? Which means the difference between the elements is not more than 2. And we have n equal to 5. So the 5 elements are 70142. This is the initial distribution which Santa had. Now to redistribute it we can take it as 2 4 2 4 2 so you can see that all the children have at least one chocolate and also the difference maximum difference between any two children is 2 here the difference is 2 here also like this in all the distributions the maximum difference is 2 hence we output yes in this case in the second case we have 1020 so total we have 3 chocolates even if we distribute 1 1 so it will be triple 1 0 and the fourth person will be left with 0 chocolates so the condition is not met hence we output no for third test case we have 1102 1102 is 4 so we can redistribute it as 1111 hence we output yes in this case so the intuition is very simple first you will see that the sum which you calculate like in the second case you have sum equal to 3 but your n means the number of children are 4 so 3 is less than 4 hence we output no so what we understand from this that if sum is less than n we will simply output no now another case another case is sum modulus n so if sum modulus n is 0 means the remainder is 0 it means the sum can be equally divided among n children like in the last test case we have 4 and n equal to 4 so 4 modulus 4 which is 0 and hence this proves that we can give at least one one chocolate to each children so if it is 0 then we output yes now the next case when we have k equal to 0 and also the condition this condition is not matching then we would simply output no after all this you can simply output yes if any other condition is remaining because it can 
fulfill the condition which we want so just remember one thing before checking for k we need to check for s modulus n so that we can know that the sum is divisible by n or not if sum is divisible then, then we simply output yes otherwise we move to the k condition so i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching